Hello my dear students, I am Rajita Sudhir. Welcome to Teachers Daily. Today we are going to discuss about what is perfect square. So let's start with our square table. So this is the square table of 1 to 10. So I will read 1 ones are 1. So square of 1 is 1. 2 into 2, 2 square that is 4. 3 multiplied by 3 you will get 3 square that is 9. 4 multiplied by 4 that is 4 square 16 and so on. So what is the definition of perfect square here you can see how you get this one when you multiply an equal integer you will get 1. So here you can see 2 is an integer when you multiply an integer by itself you will get 4. So what is the definition of perfect square? When an integer multiplied by itself you will get perfect square 6 into 6 so that is 6 square you can see it is the product of two equal integers so this way you get 36 then 7 7 square that is 49 you can see 49 is the product of 49 is the product of two equal integers two equal integers so here 5 into 5 5 multiplied by 5 that is 5 square is 25 so 25 is the product of two equal integers so from this you can understand perfect square means an integer multiplied by itself you will get a perfect square so if you understand this properly you can do square table of 11 to 20 so let's start with square table of 11 to 20 so you know that 11 into 11 that is 11 square that is 121. So how you are getting 121 here you know that 121 is the product of two equal integers which are the two equal integers 11 and 11. So 11 multiplied by 11 it will get 121. So 12 into 12, 12 square that is 144. 13 into 13 that is 13 square 169. 14 into 14 that is 14 square that is 196 15 into 15 that is 15 square 225 16 into 16 that is 16 square that is 256 17 into 17 that is 17 square you will get 289 18 into 18 that is 18 square you will get 324 19 into 19 you will get 19 square that is 361 20 into 20 that you know that 20 square 400 so this is these are the square table of 11 to 20 so when you look each number you know that these are the products of equal integers here can you identify any dissimilarity here you can't identify because all these numbers are perfect squares so always perfect squares are the product of two equal integers. So my first question is 169 a perfect square. So how you will identify 169 a perfect square? You know that 169 is the product of two equal integers. Here you can see which are the two equal integers. 13 multiplied by 13 you will get 169. So how you are we are writing here? It is the product of, it is the product of two equal integers. So, you know that 169 is a perfect square. So, our answer is correct. So, second question. Is a perfect square? Is 361 a perfect square? Here which table it comes 361 you know that 9 so 361 is the product of 19 into 19. So 19 multiplied by 19. So here you can see these are same numbers you can see these are two equal integers you will get 361. So that means 361 is a perfect square. So our answer is correct. So one more question we can do that is is 900 a perfect square. 
so how we can do 900 you know that here how we can so this here look 20 into 20 we wrote 20 squared 400 so when you multiply 2 into 2 you will get 4 so here one number so here how many zeros are here one zero so square of one zero is always two so here nine how we will get nine according to perfect square definitions you know that uh, perfect square is the product of two equal integers so you know that three threes are nine so here how many zeros two zeros so one zero we can give after this number one zero we after this number so three threes are nine so how many zeros are here 2. So, 30 into 30. So, 900 is the product of two equal integers 30 into 30. So, 900 also a perfect square. I am ending today's session with a set of questions. Please write the answers in the comment box. If you like my videos, please like, share and subscribe.